Chapter 9. The pig, the bullocks, the sheep, the pony, and the nanny goat. At that moment, George's mother came back from shopping in the village. She drove her car into the yard and got out. She was carrying a bottle of milk in one hand and a bag of groceries in the other. The first thing she saw was a gigantic brown hen towering over little George. She dropped the bottle of milk. Then Grandma st started shouting at her from the rooftop, and when she looked up and saw Grandma's head sticking up through the roof, she dropped the bag of groceries. How about that dinner, Mary? Grandma shouted. I'll bet you've never seen a hen as big as that. That's George's giant hen, that is. But, 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 stammered George's mother. It's George's magic medicine, Grandma shouted. We both of us had it, the hen and I. But how in the world did you get up on the roof? cried Mother. I didn't, crackled the old woman. My feet are still standing on the floor in the living room. This was too much for George's mother to understand. She just goggled and gasped. She looked as though she were going to faint. A second later, George's father appeared. His name was Killy Cranky. Mr. Cranky was a small man with a bandied legs and huge head. He had a kind of he was kind of a father to George, but he was not an easy person to live with because even the smallest things got him all worked up and excited. The hen standing in the yard was certainly not a small thing, and when Mr. Cranky saw it, he started jumping about as though something was burning his feet. Great heavens, he cried, waving his arms. What's this? What's happened? Where did it come from? It's a giant hen. Who did it? I did, George said. Look at me, Grandma shouted from the rooftop. Never mind about the hen. What about me? Mr. Cranky looked up and saw Grandma. Oh, shut up, Grandma, he said. It didn't seem to surprise him that the old girl was sticking up to the roof. It was the hen that excited him. He had never seen any like it. But then who had? It's fantastic, Mr. Cranky shouted, dancing around and around. It's colossal. It's gigantic. It's tremendous. It's a miracle. How did you do it, George? George started telling his father about the magic medicine. While he was doing this, the big brown hen sat down in the middle of the yard and went, Cluck, 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 cluck. Everyone stared at it. Then it stood up again, and there was a brown egg laying there. The egg was the size of a football. That egg would make scrambled eggs for 20 people, Mrs. Cranky said. George, Mr. Cranky shouted, how much of this medicine have you got? Lots, George said. There's a big saucepan in the kitchen, and this bottle here is nearly full. Come with me, Mr. Cranky yelled, grabbing George by the arm. Bring the medicine. For years and years I've been trying to breed bigger and bigger animals. Bigger bulls for beef, bigger pigs for pork, bigger sheep for mutton. They went to the piggy fest first. George gave a spoonful of medicine to the pig. The pig blew smoke up its nose and jumped all over the place. Then it grew and grew. And in the end, it looked like this. Then they went to the yard or the herd of fine black bullocks that Mr. Cranky was trying to flatten for the market. George gave each of them some medicine. And this is what happened. And then the sheep. And then he gave some to his gray pony, Jack Frost. And finally... Just for fun, he gave some to Alma, the nanny goat.